Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. When I was invited uh, to this episode of This is Germany titled Lost in Translation, the first thing I knew was that I didn't want to speak about translation in a direct sense. I wasn't interested in how certain words meant different things. I was interested in trying to tackle something maybe a bit more structural. And I thought of an incident that I had been involved in that sort of uh, highlighted that. Um, I was invited to a gala dinner at a mid-sized art institution at a mid-sized uh, town in Germany uh, around a year and a half ago. And it was a seated dinner. Uh, I was seated. Uh, my immediate neighbors was a cosmetic surgeon, uh, a retired businesswoman, uh, a political commentator uh, with a bow tie, uh, and myself. We started talking and chatting amicably. Uh, the retired businesswoman had many sort of anecdotes about her trips around the world, uh, and it was all quiet fun. Till at one point, uh, the cosmetic surgeon and the retired businesswoman discovered that they actually lived on the same street, Hindenburgstrasse. Uh, they started discussing that there had been an initiative to change the name of the street because of its historical association. And they were very angry. Suddenly, uh, a well of anger erupted and they both uh, started speaking about how they had had enough and that enough was enough and that they will not spend the rest of their lives, uh, you know, feeling guilty and being responsible for things that happened ages ago. And, uh, you know, that there was, um, you know, something that there was something deeply wrong with that and that they wanted to stick to their history and that that was it. And immediately the situation got tense. I felt that they were sort of uh, expressing uh, in not such a hidden way a certain political affiliation, flirting with ideas, with certain ideas, and that there's a very, very short step between um, rejecting um, a certain type of uh, what they called guilt and kind of rehabilitating a specific history. So my strategy was to agree with them and to say, yes, you're right, enough is enough, we cannot have this anymore, although I'm, I mean, I'm not German, obviously. And, uh, but I'd like to, you know, sort of draw your attention to one thing. That me, as a non-German, one of the things that most deeply impressed me about uh, uh, contemporary German society was its ability, maybe also one thing they could teach for the rest of the whole world, was its ability to sort of uh, accept its history and its responsibility towards its history and find ways of making that productive. And they slowly started agreeing with me. And it was very interesting for me at that moment to realize that the only way to make them accept some sense of self-criticality was to appeal to their sense of superiority. <laughs>